Hi, this is Rabbi Gershon Lee, Commodore Levy Chapel, Naval Station, Norfolk. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Bo. In this week's Torah portion, we see that the Jewish people, they are led out of Egypt. And Moses, Moshe, could have instructed them to do what was needed to do coming up in terms of the commandments and told them, this is what you're going to do next, this is what you're going to do next, and this is what you're going to do next. Instead, he gives them a very interesting concept, a very interesting methodology about moving forward. The Jewish people have not yet received the Torah. The Jewish people have not yet received their ways of connecting to the Almighty and understand what it's going to mean on a personal level, on a daily level, on a relationship level, to actually build that relationship with God that's been missing for the most part for over 200 years. But Moses says something very interesting. Moshe Rabbeinu looks at the Jewish people and he says, understand what's happening now so that you can teach it to your children. Notice what you're going through so you can pass it on to others. In other words, his message is, Jewish people, you need to be educators. You need to be teachers. You need to be people who are going to pass this down to the next generation exactly as you saw it. Not as I'm going to tell it to you, not as you're going to read it in a book but as you're experiencing it right now. And that's why every year at the Passover Seder, we remind ourselves, it is as if we ourselves left Egypt, not someone 3,300 years ago left Egypt. The power of the exodus of Egypt is that we as a Jewish people, the nation, the B'nai Israel, the children of Israel were slaves, who didn't know God, and then we left. We were redeemed. But it's not just national, it's also personal. And as a human being, how do I relay something that is important to me to the next generation? So we look in this week's Torah portion, we understand this was the mandate of Moses. This was the mandate of Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, our teacher, who said, everything you do, you have to do it with the power and knowledge that you're going to have to give it over with our misora, with our tradition to the next generation. So our hope and our prayer is that this is how we go through life, thinking that we want to do things the way that God wants us to do them. But then also, how am I going to teach this later? How am I going to use this as an educational moment? How am I going to inspire myself, my family, my people, my community and the world around me? That perspective will change the world. And that's the first directive that Moshe Rabbeinu, the Moses, our teacher, gives to the entirety of the Jewish people, even before the Torah is given. We're not just people that practice religion, but rather we're educators that have to continuously give ourselves new education, new perspectives, and then fulfill our mission to be an orla, a meme, a light into the nations and inspire others to become closer to God. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Be well.